This is Dr. Phil Chavez. The July 13th attempt upon the life of the former president and presidential candidate, Donald J. Trump, has the nation stunned about the situation and the circumstances. Now, there is so much that can be said here, but it seems to me this is just another fierce round for Trump in the brutal ring of his political life, where his opponents have been relentless to knock him out. Among other things, he has been slandered, falsely accused, subject to judicial tyranny, and here spared from the attempted assassination with a security detail that performed gravely short, if not grossly incompetent, to protect him. By miracle, Trump turns his head such that the bullet pierces his right ear, nearly killing him. And he flings his hand at his ear as if being stung by a wasp, and then is forced down by Secret Service. After wanting to get his shoes on, he says, wait, 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 and then fist pumps to the crowd and cries out, fight, 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 before taking off the stage. Brothers, to my mind, this was yet another sign of Donald Trump's resolution to fight hard for the American people, restoring the United States to just policies, upholding secure borders, a vibrant economy, protection of human life, and energy independence, among many other things. He returns the campaign trail immediately, showing strength, determination, and tenacity. UFC President Dana White commented, I've been saying this forever about this guy. He is one of the toughest, most resilient human beings that I have ever met in my life. Every man wants to act like a tough guy, right? Well, when the SHIT goes down, you find out who the tough guys are and who the tough guys are not. This guy is the legitimate, ultimate American badass of all time. Brothers, whatever opinion you may hold about Donald Trump, you have to admit, he is and remains tough. In my research, I am amazed by the many attempts to assassinate presidents and presidential candidates in the 20th century. And one did emerge as resolute and prevailing as Trump. On October 14, 1912, former President Theodore Roosevelt, seeking the presidency again, was shot and wounded while on the campaign trail in Milwaukee. A bullet passed through a copy of his speech and it lodged in his chest. Roosevelt continued with his speech before submitting to medical treatment. I would imagine Trump would have continued with his rally if circumstances had allowed him. Brothers, this man has given reputation, much of his finances, and his very life to serve his country. What are you willing to give yours? Brothers, God be with you.